Back to the Rescue Bob Season 4 party. <laughs> and we are all... <laughs> we can do this, Katie. We can We're do very this. happy to be here. <laughs> As is everyone else, beautiful. as you can hear. Energy is perfect. We <laughs> have with us right now Zach Atkinson, Brian Holfeld, and Nicole Dubuque. <laughs> and everyone's very happy for them to be here as well. <laughs> so what do you guys do on the show? Uh, I'm a writer for the series. Uh, I'm uh, one of the co-creators, along with Nicole and Jeff Klein, and I've served as producer, executive producer, supervising producer, and writer. And I'm the executive producer this season, but I've been a story editor before, and like Brian said, co-created the show. Nice. Awesome. So like we said, we're into season four, and that makes this the longest running Transformers series out there. Yeah. I swear I'm not cueing them. They're doing this on their own. Congratulations. So how do you guys feel going into this? What are you going to do in season four that's really going to wow the fans that you can tell us yes, about? Yes, I was going to say, wait a minute. I understand the concept of an NDA. Oh, sure. Yeah. Well, um, if you saw the first episode, you know that we've introduced the idea of the Mainland Training Center, which is a bigger training center. Optimus has told the bots to go out and recruit and train other rescue bots. Um, you've heard that we have Quick Shadow coming on, our new rescue bots. Um, and basically, we're just building on some of the stuff from previous seasons, but making it even bigger. We're traveling farther. Well, maybe not farther, but certainly to the reaches of our, uh, of our domain in this season. So. Nice. Awesome. And, and, I, and we're also sort of uh, expanding, I think, the emotional stories as well, and just kind of like trying to, uh, we've seeded for so many seasons the, f the family dynamics, everyone's relationships, and we're kind of paying off a lot of that in, in season four. Yeah, and if you watch that first episode back in the season, the young kids are looking a little bit older, so that has allowed us to do some new things. Oh, we I noticed. definitely had a moment watching it like, wait a minute, there's a toddler. How many years has, has it, it been? been? <laughs> three years. I think, do we set that up at some point? Do we ever say that out loud? I'm not sure if we do, but yes, it's been In three years. In our headcanon, it's three years. What? Well, your headcanon is canon, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Are there any stories that you wanted to tell that you weren't able to because of one restriction or, or another? Well, um... Everyone's always wondered what happened to uh, to Mrs. Burns, to Cody's mom. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, we of course we all had theories uh, in the room, but we've never. It's not. It's not someplace we can go on this series. But um, well, we have our headcanon about that too. <laughs> oh, I think it's got to be something unusual in sci-fi, but I'm not sure what Brian thinks on oh, that. Oh, 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 we're talking about the actual thing. Now? I don't know. It's up to you. Oh, oh, no, no, we're not. <laughs> 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 okay. okay. <laughs> it is NDA o'clock. <laughs> I must point out that my initials are ND, so yeah, basically, sorry, NDA a lot. <laughs> it's all your fault. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. It's all good. Do you have a... No, you, you took the question that I was going to say. Um, what's your favorite um, episode that you guys have put out so far from season one through uh, three? I love the switcheroo episode. It makes me so happy. It makes me so happy that we got our actors to perform as the other actors without, you know, doing the voice switch. Normally they do that in yeah. other cartoons like that. It was so fun to see our actors portray each other. Um, so that was great. I, I loved writing the season finale for season three. That was really emotional for me because at the time we didn't know we had a pickup. So I kind of poured all of my emotion and everything into that as a final goodbye. And then it was like season four. Okay, let's do this. So that's why the three years actually kind of helps us, mm -hmm. you know, have kind of a skip so we can have new things to explore and new complications. So. Yeah. Thank you for making me cry. <laughs> That's yeah, exactly much. what happened. Good All Lord. of the feels. <laughs> like, they're going to be okay. It's a kid's show. They're going to be okay. okay. It's a kid's show. I think um, Switcheroo is one of my favorites, too, because it was sort of uh, inspired by seeing our actors imitate each other in the booth and knowing that they could, like, you know, do a pretty good job. So that's what inspired the whole episode. Um, and it's kind of also kind of a gift to the fans because I think it, me it meant more to people who'd been watching the show for, you know, for two and a half seasons already. I also, I love the musical. It was a labor of love. Um, <laughs> so it just, I, I'm, I'm very proud of that. And I'm very proud of an episode that's going to be coming up at the end of season four um, about Cody sort of having to make a decision about what he's going to do with his life. Oh. And it's, it, gets, it, gets a it gets emotional. It's very nice. Oh, more crying. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Uh, some of my favorite ones are coming up in this new season. Uh, for the ones that have aired, I too really love the musical. Y'all did an amazing job. It's 
fantastic. And uh, I was also a real fan of the Jules Verne episode. So if y'all haven't had a chance oh, to see yeah. that, go back and watch it. It was really good. There must have been a bunch of shenanigans during the Switcheroo episode between oh, yeah. the actors. <laughs> well, it was the shenanigans that inspired the episode right. because we see them imitating each other and we're like, okay, we'll fix you. <laughs> and in the booth, it was uh, sometimes the actors would, would, would ask the other actor, how, how would you say it? And then they were able to sort of do a similar reading. Um, so it was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was fun, it was interesting. I noticed we named a lot of season three episodes, and I probably should mention that we actually got nominated this year for uh, yeah, an yeah. Emmy for our writer. Congratulations! Congratulations! That's fantastic! We're very proud of that um, for the writing on season three, and it's on Friday, so everybody keep your fingers crossed for us. <laughs> Here's hoping, you guys. Here's hoping. <laughs> I, um, I had something and I lost it. <laughs> Thank you, because this is like, it's so nice to sit down Super with people cool. who love our show. It's just so great. And to yeah. hear you react to the show, it's just, oh it's, I mean, that's, it makes, because, you know, we sit in a room all day and we kind of do what we do. But we laugh at ourselves, but yeah. it's not as satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time. So thank you, so thank you for, uh, for, for being such great fans. It's nice to sit down with people that make the stuff we love and yes. talk about. <laughs> this is a blast. All right. Um, anything else you want to tell the fans? Keep reading the Cybertronian yes. that we put in there for you. Oh, yeah. we should show off our jackets too. Oh, show off the jacket. Yeah, this I'm not wearing mine. Should I turn around? Yes, yes. please. Fantastic <laughs> crew jacket. Look at that. And it has our names and Cybertronian. Yeah. Cybertronian. Which I'm so jealous. Well, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe it. <laughs> There's a lot of surprises coming, so just keep watching. Yeah. Uh, I'm not ready. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for talking with us. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.